And now joining us remotely for more on the coalition negotiations, please welcome Gideon Israel, founder and president of the Jerusalem Washington Center. Gideon, thanks so much for being with us. Now, let's start with Labor's Itzik Shmuli and Amir Peretz, both famously vowed, among others, to never sit with Netanyahu in a government. Peretz even shaved his signature mustache so we could read his lips when he made these promises. So what changed? Yeah, and uh, things, cha things have changed very quickly. What changed is that in in Israel, if you're not in the coalition, you're basically just left out to dry in the opposition. So if so, if you look at the Labor Party, the Labor Party ran with Meretz and uh, and Gesher. They got they received a total of I believe seven seats, and three of them were for the La the Labor Party. That's the lowest they've ever received in in history. Um, the Labor Party's almost been wiped out, and I think Peretz realized that if he would sit in the opposition for three or four years with, without any accomplishments, what would they run on and potentially labor would be wiped out in the next election? So at least if he goes to the government, he has a chance to uh, you know, accomplish some things in whatever ministry he and, and Itzik Shmuley receive. So I think they saw this as uh, you know, the, the best option for them. Well, so, so let's talk about that, too. You know, what positions are they likely to get? Because, of course, to join the coalition, they're probably going to request some sort of ministerial position or, or, or something. It was reported that um, Amir Peretz would receive the, um, the economics ministry. That's mm. formerly the, the ministry of, of uh, trade. And, and um, that ministry is one of the responsibilities is uh, exports, imports. And therefore, Amir Peretz can uh, give a lot of uh, presence to various uh, unions in Israel in terms mm -hmm. of uh, in, in terms of import limits and therefore uh, protectionism. So he can maybe sort of rebuild his base. So that's a uh, that's a position that would be very good for him, not necessarily good for the whole population of Israel. All right, now let, let, let's move on to Benny Gantz. He's currently the speaker of the Knesset, but he's supposed to give that position up. Uh, back to the Likud with the formation of the unity government. Is Yuli Edelstein supposed to, supposed to receive that again, or is somebody else maybe going to step in as Knesset speaker? Well, that's, that's one of the things that um, the blue, the, not the Blue and White Party, but Benny Gantz's Israel Resilience Party is saying that they cannot accept uh, Yuli Edelstein as the speaker because of, because of what he did with, with, with the high court in terms of refusing to implement um, implement their, their decision. So um, possibilities for the Speaker of the Knesset could be Yariv Levin from the Likud, who's hmm. right now a tourism minister, and Yuval Heinitz um, has also been mentioned, and he's right now the Minister of uh, Energy. It's, it's important that, to know that the, the Speaker of the Knesset is a very important position for the Prime Minister, that, that the Prime Minister has the Speaker on sure. his side because... It, it gives him the ability to actually get things done in the Knesset. And, and having a speaker who the prime minister is not on good terms with makes uh, legislation very difficult. All right. Now, speaking of, uh, of Netanyahu's kind of confidence, we have Yaakov Litzman from the United Torah Judaism Party. He's serving as health minister. But many critics have come out against Litzman as health minister. Uh, above all else, they say that a trained physician should be in that position, and it's no clearer than today with the coronavirus. So why did Netanyahu fight to keep Litzman in that spot? Um, well, because the 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 uh, ultra orthodox, meaning um, United Torah Judaism, and, and also Shas, they have um, been with Netanyahu through uh, thick, thick and thin, and they they've stood by his side, and they're really the re they're one of the main reasons that he that he still will be prime minister. Mm -hmm. So, if that is important to United Torah Judaism, having the health ministry, it really doesn't matter who, who's serving in that position. And um, Netanyahu just doesn't have the ability to, to, to refuse. So he has to, he has to keep uh, uh, Litzman there, um, despite the criticism from, uh, from various places uh, in Israel. All right. Gideon, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I hope to have you back soon with some more news. Okay. Have a good right. day. Bye. Thank you, too.